Alright guys and welcome to the Ultimate Terraria 1.3 spoilers video and in this video I have compiled absolutely everything that you need to know about the 1.3 update. Anything important that has been mentioned about the 1.3 update so far will be in this video so if you want to get up to date about the 1.3 update then be sure to watch on and be sure to like the video if this video was helpful to you guys. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, we have the announced die changes. There's going to be two new dies added into the game, the Living Flame and the Rainbow die, and there's going to be slight tweaks to current dies on current armor. So I'm going to read the developer's comment so you guys can understand what this update is about. The new die changes are designed to help add a bit more colour to their armour. This occurs in two ways. The first way is that I've allowed for some of the die colour to seep through on areas that were previously considered too light or dark. The second is an overall increase to saturation. As a whole, the changes are minor and should only be noticeable in cases where the die would feel very underwhelming before. Two more things were announced that day. The Invasion Progress Bar, which will track your progress in events such as the Frost Moon, and the Laser Ruler, which is an accessory which you can use to find the dimensions of certain things, such as when you are building. Something I'm very much looking forward to in the 1.3 update are the water changes that are going to occur. If you take a look at the water flow on the left, it's very blocky, it's very slow, it looks sort of broken. And if you take a look at the water flow on the right that is about to occur, the water flow is much more dynamic, it's more natural and organic. It just looks awesome and I cannot wait for this update. If you take a look in a few seconds time, it's also going to show lava flow and that looks awesome as well. There's also a nice quote at the bottom there. The new water does not adversely affect performance, nor will it result in the re removal of the ever popular water duping bug. So you guys have nothing to worry about. This update is just 100% good and I am so much looking forward to the water update. We also know of item 3000, which is going to be an alchemy station. And an alchemy station gives you a 1 in 3 chance of saving resources when you make a potion. So it does increase efficiency when making potions. Another thing that makes it so significant is because there's only about 2800 items in the game. So there's going to be at least 200 more items and counting. We also know of something called expert mode. And in expert mode, the game's difficulty has been greatly increased. Players will face old monsters but with new AI, bosses with new AI and mechanics and much more with greater rewards for their efforts. So it's going to be like a super hard mode so I am definitely not going to be trying that because I am absolutely terrible at the game. But it's a very interesting mode and we'll have to see if the pros like Yurimir will be able to defeat all the hard bosses. 1.3 brings a number of NPC animation changes that are intended to help bring them to life and make them feel more like an interactive part of your world. While we were at it, we decided to go ahead and give our crew of NPCs a visual makeover. So this means that your NPCs might move around in your world, talk to each other, they might sit down, they might, I don't know, get something to eat, they might cook something in the cooking pot, and that's just some visuals of the updated NPCs for you guys to look at. Either way, I'm looking forward to that because it's going to make the world much more interactive with the NPCs being more dynamic. Another cool thing that we're going to get in the 1.3 update are lots of new mini biomes to make exploring more exciting. For example, we can see in this picture some sort of enchanted sword shrine, which will be very interesting to find out if this does anything. Will you get a sword for picking the sword up? Will there be an event? Will there be like a mini boss event? Who knows? Who knows? The Crimson's going to get an overhaul, so we're going to see corrupt bunnies and stuff like that. And that bunny is so happy about the update that he just did a somersault. On the bottom right, we see some sort of summoner's ritual, but we haven't been told anything about this gif. So we have no idea what it is, and it's all down to pure speculation. So I guess you guys can talk about that in the comments. On the bottom left, we can see that stairs can now automatically be placed. And on the top left... We can see some like maggot sort of thing and that's going to be a monster that we will encounter in some sort of mini event. We also know that there's going to be three new mounts and each new mount will have a different feature. For example, one is for mining. And if you take a look at that, just look at how incredible that mount looks. I think this is probably one of my favourite update announcements or spoilers by far. I mean, look at how quickly that mount obliterates all that ore. If that lasts forever, that mount, you would just literally be able to mine everything. And there's going to be two more mounts, and they have different purposes than mining. So I'm not sure what it could be, 
but it's, I'm very interested to find out what they are. Another quick cool thing worth mentioning is you can now link items in the chat in multiplayer. So if you find an awesome item, you can link it in the chat and send it, and your friends can see the item that you got. That just adds a bit more fun into the game, and I'm really looking forward to that feature when I play multiplayer. You can also see the fireplace and a couple other new items to the top right. So those are just another couple of spoilers that we've got from the developers. We can see quite a few new elements in this video such as the granite furniture and the fact that the developer uses a laser blaster against the zombie. We also know that he makes a wormhole potion which is used to teleport to your friends instantly in Terraria as you can see here. And the fight between the two people is the Meow Mia weapon versus the laser machine gun. I really like the Meow Mia because it fires cats, which is awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. It looks amazing. They've also upgraded how icons interact with you in the 1.3 update. As you can see in this GIF, it looks very snazzy. The icons are different and they have like this orange glow when you hover over them. So that's very good. You can now also quick stack into nearby chests. So all you need to do now is go to your chest room and if you click the button quick stack to nearby chests, it will just put everything into the chests without you even having to interact with them. In addition to this, you can also favorite items now, which means that you can't accidentally delete them and they won't get quick stacked when you quick stack to nearby chests. So no longer will your potions be quick stacked into chests when you don't want them to. No longer will your platinum coins be quick stacked when you don't want them to, which will be a very good feature. It's also apparent there's going to be a lot of new items in this update, which is very exciting. And if you take a look now, what do they look like to you? There's going to be aliens in this update. I repeat, aliens, and that is going to be freaking awesome. Aliens were actually confirmed quite a while ago on the Terraria forums and that grey image on the left that is supposed to be our player size compared to the size of the aliens or monsters that we're supposed to be fighting. Now I'm not sure if these are supposed to be the monsters associated with the lunar boss but it would make sense considering that space, lunar, aliens, you know, it's all kind of linked. And I guess we could get some sort of theory going here because there's quite a few things now that seems to be linking quite a bit. So what if these cultist guys are actually supporting some sort of alien and they're trying to summon the alien from the sky? I mean, if we zoom into this, I don't think it seems that far-fetched. It does seem quite alien-y to me. It doesn't seem like a, a normal monster anyway. And what if the cultists succeed and they summon an alien boss? And what if we actually successfully kill the alien bosses and it might drop a spacesuit for us to get to the lunar boss. I mean, does that sound too far-fetched? It sounds like it could be possible to me, who knows? It's all speculation right now because we don't have much to go by. It's now possible to buy things with gold and silver and platinum even if the coins are not in your inventory. So all the coins in your chest will appear as savings and you're free to spend them at the merchants and NPCs. It's now possible to craft straight from the chest and chests will also open when used. So it's possible to see which chests are open and which chests you are using. Also, all the accessories that provide data such as time, depth and so on work by simply sitting in your inventory. In addition, we have added a bunch more of these such as items which display the weather, the moon phase, damage per second and more. It's also worth noting that the information items you have will also share their effects with any nearby player, but you can easily hide that information from your screen when it interrupts you, so your friends will be able to see where you are, what depth you're at, and such. One of the annoying things about the current version of Terraria is you cannot share your creations with your friends without it taking a long time to take screenshots and editing your large creations together yourself. That is now a thing of the past because screen capture mode is being introduced and this allows you to take large scale, high quality pictures of your worlds so you can share your creations with your friends and it's now easier than ever to do so. So I am very much looking forward to that update. And just take a look at that image. It's just such a large creation and it's amazing that you can take pictures that big now. Another small addition is the map full display, the last place you died. And you can also read signs from a distance when you hover your cursor over them now. So that just makes the game a bit more convenient. 
A nice little update we're going to be getting is a new loading bar in the 1.3 update. So that's just a small little update that makes the game appear more professional. So you know this update is going to be absolutely epic when it took 10 minutes to cover all the spoilers and there's much more to be announced. There's still more things that we don't know. So just for a quick recap because a lot of things were mentioned. There's probably going to be a lunar event because Redigit has mentioned that a lot. Another event such as Aliens maybe? A huge interface update, there's going to be expert mode where it's going to be harder to kill monsters, at least 250 items and counting, new mini biomes, new summon items, achievements possibly, that's been mentioned a few times, enchanted sword shrine and lots of new weapons such as the Meow Mirror and the laser machine gun, there's going to be three epic new mounts including the drill mount, there's going to be new mechanics such as weapons can be used on mounts and much, much more. I really hope you guys are looking forward to this update and this video took quite a while to make so I really would appreciate it if you thumbs it up if you enjoyed it and you can always subscribe for more fun Terraria videos, let's plays and stuff like that. I also have a second channel called Beachel and I'm going to be uploading a 1.3 let's play on that when it's released as well as some cool Terraria videos so be sure to subscribe to that as well if you want by clicking the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching everyone, it means a lot. And I really hope the 1.3 update lives up to its expectations. I'm sure it will. It definitely will. So thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you later.